Hello to everyone, my name is Juan Felipe Ladino and I'm going to present you my paper with Santiago Saavedra and Daniel Wiesner which we called One Step Ahead of the Law, the Net Effect of Anticipation and Implementation of Colombia's Illegal Crop Substitution Program. So just as a fact of motivation, uh, when a government pre-announce a policy, it can lead to anticipation effects due to moral hazard. So what happened here is that the government, that is the principal in the model of moral hazard, uh, pre-announce uh, a policy to certain type of people that fulfill the conditions to get benefits of the program. But given that the program was pre-announced, other types of individuals have the opportunity to, cha to change their type in order to fulfill the conditions and get access or the benefits of the program that the government pre-announced. So in this case, uh, we have uh, the Colombia's uh, substitution program that consists in payments in exchange to voluntarily eradicate coca crops. So just as a context, this program is located in the peace negotiation between Colombia's government and FARC guerrillas, that is one of the uh, most important guerrillas in Colombia's history. So in the, mark, in the framework of the negotiation, there was a point related to illegal crops that were used by the guerrilla as a source of financial, um, financial sustain, sustainability. So the far guerrilla used coca to produce cocaine and the cocaine generated all this uh, drug traffic phenomenon that affects all the world in terms of violence but also in terms of drug use. So in order to uh, eliminate this kind of illegal market from the main input that is the coca, the government and Fargo Lila uh, reached an agreement where the government was going to pay uh, to farmers cultivating coca crops in exchange to a voluntarily eradication process. The problem was that the government pre-announced the policy, so the policy was announced in 2014, but effectively implemented in 2016. So in this lapse of period, there was the opportunity for other people, other type of farmers that not, did not cultivate coca or did not cultivate it as much coca, uh, this time lapse give them the, the time to adapt their type so they can uh, be potential beneficiaries of the program. So what we want to study is if the implementation effect was larger or shorter than the anticipation effect to calculate like a net effect but also given that we are studying the implementation effect of the program we want to see if there were like spillover effects to neighboring areas this happens because given that we're studying an illegal market uh, the literature has shown that um, attacks to illegal markets tend to generate balloon effects so we want to see if this uh, implementation of the program generates a kind of a spillover effect that uh, make the anticipation stronger or weaker. So to do that, uh, we study how COCARA changed with the announcement and implementation of the program. We have data on satellite measurements of COCA area uh, for grids of one kilometer per one kilometer. And we have uh, information on the exact location uh, of, of, of the program payments. So we can match the grid with coca or without coca with the grid that received or did not receive uh, payments of the program. So to study anticipation, uh, we use a difference in difference strategy where we compare before and after the announcement of the policy with areas inside municipalities that had prisons or not of FARC guerrilla. And we use this variation because given that the negotiation were done with between the government and FARC guerrilla, and FARC guerrilla had presence uh, in these territories, they had the opportunity to communicate the advances of the negotiation to all the people. So the people in municipalities with FARC prisons had more opportunities to know about benefits of the substitution program and hence uh, have a better uh, or stronger anticipation than other municipalities that did not have a FARC uh, anticipation. Uh, sorry, far prisons. And to study uh, the effect of the program implementation, we also use a difference in difference strategy where we compare before and after the program's implementation with areas that did and did not receive penis payments. So as a summary of the results, we find that areas 
that had the presence of FARC effectively had like an anticipation effect, a higher increase in coca after the announcement of the policy than uh, with respect to municipalities or areas inside municipalities that did not have FARC prison. So this is like evidence that supports anticipation effect. We also check for defectiveness. So in terms of effectiveness, we find that areas that receive payments effectively had a higher reduction in coca crops compared to municipalities that did not receive um, payments from the program. But also in terms of spillovers, we find that surprisingly the program had negative uh, spillovers over neighboring areas. That means that instead of generating a balloon effect, that is where the coca or the illegal activity uh, have a displacement from the origin to neighboring areas, what happened here is that beneficiaries reduce their coca area, but neighboring grids also reduce their coca area, which shows the potential benefits of the full implementation of the program. When calculating the net effect, we find that uh, the anticipation effect was larger, and this was given because the area with FARC prisons was much larger than the area where the program has been implemented. So we uh, all thought we find that the anticipation effect was larger and that there is a stronger effect from moral hazard than from the policy effectiveness. We are that given that the policy uh, has just been implemented, in the case that the policy can be implemented in all the territory, there could be more benefits uh, considering that it not only effectively reduces coca, but it also reduces coca in neighboring grids. So the, the, the program effectively have the potential to reduce significantly coca crops in the country and hence reduce all the problems related with drug use and, and cocaine uh, in Colombia and in uh, other countries affected by this problematic. But also we find that the substitution program is more cost effective related to other policy options that have been used by the government like IRL eradication. Using some estimates from other, um, other literature that have estimated the cost effectiveness of IRL eradication, we found that uh, eradicating with IRL spraying one hectare of coca is have higher, a higher cost than eradicating one coca hectare through voluntarily substitution. So it not only shows that the voluntarily substitution program have the potential benefits of reducing coca area, but also it represents a lower uh, cost for the government that is implementing the in program. Of the anticipation effects, we use our difference in difference strategy where we interact the dummy for before and after the announcement of the program and with FARC and no FARC uh, municipalities. We measure FARC using data on uh, the National Center of Historical Memory of Colombia uh, that had various definitions of, of, of violence or FARC prisons, that is what we are using. Um, we use specifically selective killings that is defined as arbitrarily choose three or more people and kill these people. Other definitions might include bellicose actions that are when simply the guerrilla group uh, gets involved in a in a fight with another illegal group or with the uh, military. We think that this measurement is more general, but we use selective killings as our, our, our main measure, but we find that the results are robust to the use of these FARC prisons definition. Our uh, strategy includes a department and time fixed effects and grid fixed effects. We find with this that um, First, we prove a parallel trends assumption and we find that effectively the parallel trends assumption using a dynamic estimation is fulfilled, but also we find that after the announcement, uh, there was a differential increase in coca area in FARC municipalities of 0.48 uh, percentage points uh, that are equivalent to approximately 90% of the mean of coca area. So the implementation effect uh, our main interaction, difference in difference interaction, consists in grids that receive and did not receive uh, payments of the program before and after the program's implementation. But we also include an interaction that consists in grids 
that are neighbors to those uh, that effectively receive the payments of the program with respect to uh, grids that are not neighbors of these uh, program receivers before and after the implementation of, of the program. And this interaction allow us to measure if there was a movement of COCA area between the receivers and the neighboring grids. In this, in this, in this setup, we include grid fixed effects and year fixed effects. We're measuring short-term effects given that our data reached until 2018, but the program was implemented in 2016. So we First, we prove uh, the parallel trends assumption, we effectively fulfill parallel trends assumption, and we find that after the program's implementation, there was a reduction uh, in the grids that received the program of approximately um, 1.05 percentage points, but also in neighboring grids, uh, there was a reduction of approximately the same uh, magnitude. So, although this might be surprising given that we expected a balloon effect, that means we expected that the reduction in the receivers generate an increase in the neighbors, uh, this, this result shows that there is a potential to generate an additional reduction. And we are that this uh, reduction in neighboring grids is given that, is probably given that uh, there are like learning effects where the people that receive the program share their information with the neighboring neighboring areas and they when they learn the benefits of eradicating coca they also eradicate coca so with these two effects we calculate uh, our, our net effect so we have that the FARC uh, the anticipation effect was 0.48 percentage points the implementation was 1.05 percentage points in uh, receivers of the program and 1.08 percentage points in neighborings of these receivers. Uh, although in magnitudes the implementation program was larger, considering the area in which both uh, were measured, we find that the anticipation effect uh, was larger in area than the implementation effect, which consists or which results in a higher anticipation effect. So, also there is a higher anticipation effect and the pre-announcement of the policy was a mistake in terms of not having the opportunity or not having the capacity to observe all the potential uh, farmers of coca. We are that uh, the program have effectively reduced coca crops where it was implemented and has the potential to reduce more coca when implemented in a, a longer range of territory. So even if the, if the net effect is higher in terms of more anticipation, we have to look that once implemented in all the territory, surely will be stronger the implementation effect than the anticipation effect. But also we measure in terms of cost effectiveness uh, this policy and we find that it's, appro it's approximately the half of the cost of eradicating coca through the traditional methods that use the government, that are its IRL eradication uh, through spraying. So they use a special chemical to spray uh, the coca and affect and destroy the coca crops. Uh, we find that these programs of substitution in exchange of benefits, it's better uh, compared to our aerial eradication when talking in terms of cost effectiveness. That means eradicating voluntarily one hectare of coca through substitution is cheaper than eradicating one coca hectare through aerial spray. Thank you very much for your attention. It was a pleasure for us to present you this paper. We hope you have enjoyed it and we expect you to read and give us comments that can strengthen our results. Thank you very much and have a good day.